Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print on demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I'm going to go over with you how to create this design right here. This is a fun summer design. Summer does officially start next month. So you do want to start getting up some of those nice summer vacation style designs. Um, this one is your pretty classic um, cut out words in um, boxes. So if you would like to learn how you can do this and get that nice cool cut out effect, go ahead and stick around. So I am on Canvas homepage and I'm going to go ahead and start with a blank canvas. So I'm going to go to the right hand side of my page. I'm going to be clicking custom size. I'm going to be selecting 4500 by 5400 pixels. That is the size I use for all of my t-shirt designs and pretty much anything I put up onto Amazon. I'm always going to use that size. Um, and so we are going to be designing a, uh, a shirt for summer. So the official start of summer is next month. It is June 20th. So now is a good time to start getting any summer type designs up. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to start with a dark background. So I'm just going to go ahead and select black as my background color. Now we are going to be doing a pretty simple design. Um, it's a cool style. It's sort of that box style with the cutout words. And so the first thing I am going to do is going to be to go ahead and select some boxes. So to do that really easy, I'm just going to hit R on my keyboard that creates a rectangle and I can make this rectangle kind of any size I want any color I want, whatever. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and pick a nice, maybe bright blue color or something there. I'm going to hit another R on my keyboard to make another rectangle. Maybe this one we go with sort of a reddish shade, something there. And I'm just sort of kind of moving them around little bits here and there. And then maybe one more rectangle. And this one, what the heck, let's go with sort of a yellowish sort of shade here maybe that red i even go with a little bit more of a pinkish red who knows right now i'm just putting the rectangles in where i want them i'm gonna kind of fiddle with it a little bit more and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some words in the boxes and we're gonna cut those words out um so pretty much when we're doing a cutout design i want anything to be cut out to match the background color here. So it has to be black. And I do want the design to be small enough in the page that you can tell that black is the background color. So if this was so big that it took up most of the page, it may not register black as the background color, but if it's small and there's a whole lot of black, you're a lot more likely to get this to work the way that you want. So I'm starting with my three little boxes here. They're somewhat staggered. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead then, maybe even stagger them a little bit different, whatever, somewhere there. I'm gonna pick some uh, text box. So I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard. It's gonna pull up a text box. And in here, I'm gonna write, in the top one, I'm just gonna go ahead and write sun. And it's gonna be in all caps, sun. And I'm gonna make that you know, big so I can see it here. And I'm gonna go ahead, pull up another text box. So I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard. I'll pull up another text box. This one's going to say salt. And one more. I'm going to pull up another text box and I'm going to put sand. Now when you're picking um, a font to cut out, you want that font to be pretty simple. So you don't want it to be too detailed, like one of those weird, like dripping fonts, nothing like that. Nothing that's going to have weird edges. You want it to be as, as smooth and as simple as possible. You want it to be pretty bold so that the cutout is pretty obvious, easy to read. You don't want it to be grunge. You need it to be solid. But beyond that, you can pick pretty much any font you want. So anything that looks good, that's you know, bold, smooth, not textured is going to work just fine. For that, for this one, I went ahead and I just picked a font that was called Berthold. There it is. Berthold Block. And I'm going to change them all to Berthold Block. So that was a nice, fun one. It looked fun. It's bold. 
and I think it was going to work out really well. So I'm going to make it so it's nice and big. And I may need to space out the letters so that they fit better or change the shape of my box so that they fit the word better. So you can really play with it from either end that you want. And so one more. I'm going to do the sand. I want them to be roughly the same size when it comes to the writing. So, I mean, I can take a look at the sizes, 768. This one's quite a bit bigger. So that's 884, and that one's 755. They're all slightly different sizes. I could make them all the same size if I wanted to. That's 838, 848 is pretty close. And then I can play with the size of the boxes depending on how much overlap or space around the word I want. I can do something like that. If I want them to be a little bit wider, I can again change the spacing of the letters. So I could go up to letter spacing and space it out just a little bit so that it fills that space a little bit better. And try to center that in the box. Same thing with this one here. If I want to, I could go ahead and try to space that out a little bit more. And if I need to, I can shrink that box in a little bit more too. So I can take that box and maybe bring it in a little on each side. So something like that. And so we can sort of see the way that that is looking. We've got my little offset boxes there and you can choose how you want the offset to go. So something like that, whatever, it looks cool. I may need to use the arrows on my keyboard to make little micro adjustments to make sure everything is lined up perfectly where I want it. And so for that, you can always use your up, down, left, right arrows on your keyboard to line everything up perfect. Once you've got that lined up really nice, the other thing I'm going to do for this design is going to be to put some little palm tree kind of design in here. So for that, I'm going to go over to elements. We're going to do a little search for palm trees. Gonna keep it pretty simple. Look, here's a palm tree right there. That might actually work fine for what I want. For this one, I'm gonna make the palm trees probably a nice, if I can get hold of them. Oh, they're in the back. Let me get hold of these palm trees. I'm gonna make them something like a nice purple color, something bright that's gonna stand out there. Maybe even a darker purple, brighter purple somewhere. like that looks cool that's gonna stand out nicely so i like that and i'm gonna go ahead and get a duplicate copy so i'm gonna hit Control d and duplicate it i'm gonna make that duplicate copy i'm thinking white and that's just gonna act as a little bit of a shadow so then what i'm gonna do is hit Control on my left bracket and i'm gonna send it to the back so now what i've got looks pretty cool i've got my palm trees in the back hopefully there, okay. Palm trees are in the back, right? They are pretty cool. They look nice in the page. Um, and I like the way that that looks. I might even want to make them a little bit bigger. If that's the case, no worries. I can go back and do whatever I need to to make them a little bit bigger. I can even move my, um, my, uh, my fonts out of the way. An easy thing to do would be to change the background color temporarily to a dark gray. That way I can see my fonts really well. And now if I want to, again, I can go ahead and play with this a little bit more so that I get it exactly where I want it. And if I want it to poke out a little bit, that's cool too. So you might decide that you want a little bit of an overlap outside the box. I think I like it there. And I'm gonna go ahead and crop it so it's flush with the bottom. And I'm gonna repeat my process. I'm gonna go ahead, Control D, make that one white. And then I'm gonna go ahead and send the white one to the back. So to do that, I hit Control on my left bracket and that should send it to the back and so now I've got just that little shadow that I like if I want to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to play with that a little bit to make the shadow a little bigger I can 
if I want to then go ahead and crop off the bottom part. There we go, I can. And so now that looks pretty cool. So now I can go ahead and bring my words back. I want my words to be on the top because they're what's gonna get cut out. So here we go. Make sure my words are centered nicely in the box where I want them. Again, I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard to do that if I need to. And just sort of line it up wherever you think it's gonna look best. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. So once I have it the way I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and change that background color back to black. What you're looking for here is to make sure your background color and your your text is the same color. That way, if it cuts out all the black, it will also cut out the text. And so assuming it looks like this, you've got a nice large black background, your font's the same color as the background, we're gonna go ahead and save this. And I'm just gonna put um, sun salt sand, and I'm gonna put um, box boxes. And we're gonna go ahead and download this as is. So for this technique, you do not want a transparent background. We need the background. So it's gonna be a PNG. We're gonna do it exactly as is and just hit download. Perfect. And now what we're gonna do is pull up another page. So I'm gonna add a page. And to make sure that I can see my design, I'm gonna go ahead and make this page a lighter color. That way my design will show up. I'm gonna go over to uploads and I'm gonna go ahead and upload the design that I just downloaded. And then I can go ahead and take it from my uploads and bring it over here. And so now what we have is this design up here, but now it is down here and it is one image. And so now what we can do is use photo effects on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna to go to edit photo and we're gonna to try to do a background remover and see if this works. And it did and that's perfect. So what we can see here now is that it removed all of the black, including the words. So now I have a cutout, which means if I change this background's color back to black, you can see the words through there. If I put it on white, you can see the words through there and it pops really well on white, by the way. But you can put it on any color that you want that you think it might look good. Maybe a dark navy might look good. It's gonna be hard to get too many different colors that work too well. Black is probably gonna be your best bet, black or white. And that's fine, because black and white are some of the top selling ones. So that would be a good one to do. So actually I like that, we'll keep it there. But now it is ready to go, by the way, because it goes really well on white. You could also put this on something like a mug. You could put it on a sticker. You could put it on anything that would look good with a white background. So it doesn't just have to be a t-shirt. You could use this for, you know, anything that you liked. Um, but it does look really good on a t-shirt. So now that I have it, I'm gonna go ahead and blow it up so that it's nice and big in the page. I'm gonna bring it up towards the top of the page, try to make sure it looks relatively centered in the page. And so something like that it looks really cool. It's ready to go. Like I said, it could go on a black shirt, it could go on a white shirt, maybe a navy blue shirt, maybe a very dark heather gray it might look good. You're gonna to have to sort of play around with what pops here. But I can go ahead now, title this one, Sun Salt Sand Cutout. And it's ready to go. And of course, you can do this technique with any colors you want, any text you want, any you know background. I put the palm tree in there, but you didn't have to. You can put anything you want in there. And so it's just a technique that I kind of wanted to show you, but this is great for summer as we are going to be starting summer officially next month, now is a good time to start working on those designs. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit download. This time we do want it to be a transparent background. It's a PNG and we're gonna download just the second page and hit download and now it is ready to go and you can go ahead and put that on anything you liked. 
If you have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing really well on your sales. Stay tuned for the next video. We are going to talk about quarter three niches so you guys can be prepared in advance. Um, and I hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.